You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for wing stem, Verbicina alternifolia. Wing stem sends up its first shoots during the late spring and early summer months. The leaves are usually arranged opposite each other along the stem. As the plant grows, the leaf arrangement changes. The leaves begin to grow alternately up the stem. Here's another wing stem plant. You can now see the alternate leaves. When the leaves develop at the top of the plant, the leaf edges may look curled until they expand fully. This close view of the alternate leaf arrangement and the stem shows just how strongly the stem develops. Wing stem is a very tall plant and needs this thick central stem. In the center of this image is another relatively young wing stem. It is surrounded by other species of plants. The leaf margins on this wing stem are strongly toothed, a variation for this plant. As we look closely at leaves on other wing stem plants, you'll notice the smaller serrations along the margins, which are more typical. This close view of the stem explains the origin of the plant's common name. Wing stem grows wings along the sides of the stem. Let's look at the leaf characteristics. When the plant is young, the leaves are generally ovate. The margins have small teeth and the venation is pinnate with a single central vein. As wing stem grows taller, the leaf shape becomes more lanceolate, long and narrow. The central vein is more prominent. The margin is less toothy and almost looks entire, very smooth. At first glance, the leaf looks like it has a petiole with a blade. The petiole is what we tend to think of as a leaf's individual stalk. However, by looking more carefully, we can see that the leaf consists solely of a blade. There is no petiole. Instead, the leaf blade grows in a long, narrow fashion at the stem end of the leaf. Here's another example of the leaf shape near the stem. Focusing on the leaves in this image, when we look from the top toward the bottom of the plant, the topmost leaves are now much smaller than the lower leaves. They are also narrower and have less of a narrow end to the leaf blade near the stem, as compared to the lower leaves we've studied. Also, the margins look entire. Wing stem plants may grow closely together, or they may stand out more as individuals. These plants are now about six to eight feet tall. It is late summer and they are growing flower buds at the top. In addition to the topmost inflorescences, other inflorescences grow from leaf nodes further down the plant. Inflorescences consist of groups of flower heads. Notice the narrow leaves in the background. Each flower head consists of small green buds, which will become ray and disc flowers. Here's a close view of two developing flower heads. We can see they are each growing some flower buds along the perimeter which stand out, since they are longer than the other flower buds. This image shows more developing flower heads. The upper flower head has those long flower buds which are now yellow. These will be the ray flowers. The central flower head in this photo has fully opened ray flowers. The disc flowers have yet to open. Now we can see some disc flowers opening up. The dark portions which extend beyond the disc flowers are the flower's pistil. The disc flowers open from the outermost area of the flower head toward the center. Each flower also has a stamen, which splits at the top into two curled anthers covered with pollen. 
Here's another photo showing the stamens with their curled anthers. And here we can see a single ray flower on this flower head. Wing stem flower heads have some variation in the number of ray flowers which can be found on each flower head. When the plant is in full bloom during the fall months, it is covered with these gorgeous yellow flowers. Bees love wing stems flowers. They crawl all over the flower head. After pollination, the flowers transform into seeds. Here we can see two stages of flower heads. The top left one is in its prime flowering stage, while the bottom right flower head is dropping its petals. The ray flower petals drop down into a reflexed position before falling off. The petals of the disc flowers turn brown and fall off as the newly developing seeds expand. If you look closely, you can see the growing seed. It is green and has spiky edges to it. Here are more photos of wing stem flower heads, which are growing their seeds. The dried out yellow ray petals are still attached to the flower head. The relatively flat seeds are dark and surrounded by their white spiky sheath. This flower head has dried yellow ray flower petals, as well as brown dried disc flower petals, mixed in with its new seeds. Initially, the seeds are dark green, surrounded by the spiny looking white tissue. Gradually, the green seeds turn brown as they mature. While the seeds mature, the wing stem leaves remain green. Then, during the late fall months, the leaves begin to die, turning yellow and then brown. During the winter months, you can still find intact dried seed heads, waiting for the right conditions to drop to the ground and sprout new plants. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Verbicina alternifolia, also known as wing stem. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of wing stem, for a comparison of this plant with another tall yellow flowering plant, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.